Okay, you guys, also want to let you know I'm working on getting a little movement towards improvement merchandise store up for t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, wristbands. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And actually, my new membership site, I'm going to be teaching you how to build landing pages like my website, merchandise stores, membership sites, email sequence, whatever it is all around marketing. I'm going to teach you how to actually turn MTI from just a hobby, just something for fun, to actually building it into an income. Okay, 413 yards, par four, Blair with the M2. We both got the M2. Yeah, welcome to the to the new age. Welcome to the new age. Of 2017. So you can see you got a little bunker out in the fairway up there. I think it doesn't come into play though. Blair's just gonna cream sauce a rony one. Yeah, if you can hit like a going draw on this hole, you get a lot of rollout. But since it's downwind, if you can hit like a high fade, you get a lot of carry. So you just kind of pick and choose which one you're feeling most comfortable with. There is trouble on this hole though, it's pretty narrow actually. Right down the pipe, great shot. Thanks. Gabe, you're gonna hit your stock drawer? Heading down the left side, it's gonna need a bounce. All right, Gabe, what do you got? Okay, I got 151, you guys got a good break. Um, ball sitting up in the rough, so I'm just gonna swing a little bit more level and just kinda hit a nice full nine. Yeah, he caught top of the face there. That's gonna have to go hard. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Just on the front. Yeah, not bad. Not I thought it was gonna be same short. Same thing as the five on the last hole, a little high in the right, but they're working out pretty well. Good. I got 62 yards. I was not expecting to hit a drive. I was not expecting to hit my drive this far. Um, the pins in the front. I got a dicey little shot. I'm dead downwind. So I have a lot of options here. Gabe, you're my caddy behind the camera here. What do I? What would you recommend hitting? Would you recommend me hitting like a bump into the hill, let it bounce and kind of stop, or do I try to hit a spinner? Well, this is the thing: is we saw mine land, landed really soft. It sure did. So you know, I, I'm not sure I like the whole end of the hill because then if it, if it just lands and comes up short, then you just you have to a tricky little chip. Right. I think the greens are soft enough that if you can put a medium height on it and just good contact and land between my ball and the pin it would be best. I think they're, the greens gonna sit. They're really soft right, right now. I'll give it a go. Let's see what I got. I really like that. I think it's gonna be good. Good. Yeah, yeah. that's actually pretty good. Yeah, good shot. I actually hit that really well. I mean, that's not a shot that I'm particularly good at, so I'm really happy to pull that one off. Well, you gotta basically land that exactly on the number, which is always a little tricky. Yeah, especially when you have the the face wide open and you're trying to create a lot of speed with your right hand. So I'm very really, very stoked with that. Good shot. From my view, it looks like it's gonna go a little bit left, but I'm sure from your side, it looks like it's going to the right. Shoved it. Willie McShovey. All right, good part. Thanks. Okay, where are you aiming this, Blair? It should be. I'm gonna aim this about a, a ball out. Ball where? On the right. Oh, jeez. And what a yank! No, you didn't yank it. No way. Yeah. Cause I that felt like I just shut the whole thing down and pulled no, it. No, I mean, if, where did you want to start it? See, I'm so discombobulated right now with my putting stroke. It's like you started that definitely right edge or slightly out. Thing broken off a planet. Yeah, broke a lot. Take your time. These ones are just as important as the first. It's true. It all adds up. Five. Ugh. Okay, hole number five, 361 yards. Blair going with the driver. Yep. You can actually drive the screen. If you get a going draw, the whole fairway cants towards the, the green itself. And if you can go it along the same line as the fairway, it can run up really close to the green. So I know there's a lot of wind, so I'm gonna give it a try. If I hit the same drive that I hit in the last hole here, I should be pretty close to it. It's heading down the left in the same line as mine. Should be in the bunker. 
So Gabe's got 97 with a lip in front of him. Got to reverse another bunker up by this green here. It's dead in the wind. You're gonna see a big plume of sand into his face. Except for this. Oh no, not quite. Sounded like good contact. Uh, it's okay, it's pin high to the left. Uh, it's gonna leave himself not too bad of a putt. Good shot. Oh, well, I got a great, a really lucky break because I hit it up towards the bunker where Gabe went and I think I bounced off this hill and rolled all the way down to here. So I have a uh, 63 yards and uh, it's a shot that I'm trying to uh, be better at. And a lot of the reasons my inconsistencies are because I've been having a lot of handle drag going into this where my handle gets way ahead of the club and it stays open and I have to kind of really flick at it to try to catch it up. So instead of so much of a forward press, I'm going to try to have this thing more standing up on top of the ball and just kind of feel like I'm just getting there naturally. The club head speeds up more than my hands do necessarily, kind of to get this thing going. A little spinner, one hopper stopper. You know, I made really good contact with that. I nipped it really nicely. Uh, the first bounce, oh, the first bounce just kind of was a lot softer than I thought, but not a bad leave, about probably 10 feet or so. Okay, yeah. real for birdie. Did you say level play? Yeah. Looks good. It's gonna get there. Oh gosh. <laughs> That was a good putt. Best putt. It was a great putt. Okay. About 15 feet for Blair for birdie. I'm gonna swing a big right to left. Come down the hill at the end. Frank. Okay, not bad. It didn't come down as much as we thought. Struggling on the greens today. We'll take it. Okay, guys. 130 yards. Pitching wire. It's gonna swing nice and smooth. Would you look at this wear mark? When I used to play, gosh, that's like Tiger Woods in his prime when he had superhuman powers. <laughs> Still kind of does have superhuman powers. 130. Please don't talk while my pre-shot routine. Okay. What were you saying? I don't remember. I said please don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit your shot. Okay. I gave uh, you might want to back away. Why? Just because I decided to speak. God damn it. I, I knew it's probably something was up. I was like, why would he say that? <laughs> right, I won't say anything this time. Don't think about me maybe perhaps saying something though. Because that could distract you. We don't want that. That'd be bad. Oh, be good. Be really good. Oh! Beauty. Nice little sawed off pitching wedge 130. We'll take it. Okay, Blair, what do you got? I got 113. 113, I'm uh, uphill, downwind. I'm gonna swing a little bit softer on my, my uh, 56 degree sand wedge here. <laughs> that was really bad. Short right. Okay, here my ball is, you guys. I got about ooh, 10 feet here. Great shot from 130. Blair's in the bunker, short right. I want to see a good bunker shot, Blair. You got it. It's all about bouncing back, good short game putting. That looks pretty decent. Ooh, that had some little stoppage. Got about four feet, great shot. I'm seeing uh, a little left to right here, maybe inside left. What are you seeing? I'll play ball out left. Ball out left, uphill. I like it. Yeah, uphill, you gotta keep the speed up. I'm going to say left edge, actually. All right. Looks good. Oh, man, you hit that right in your line. That's a good putt. Now, let's see you tap this little bad boy in, huh? God, the last two putts have just been just right on the edge. Beauty. Well, what can you do? You, you got away with a, a poor tee shot. Hit a great second shot. Good putt. Swing feels close. So I'm just going to keep marching on. I'm Where are you playing? playing? Inside the hole. Inside left. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to firm it. Okay. Inside left. I, I play this left edge a little bit. Good putt. Yeah, that definitely broke a little bit. All right. We'll take the sandy. 
Nice up and down. Thank you. You used to do that a lot when you were younger. Yeah, I know. I'm back to that again. Blair would be like, he would just, <laughs> Blair would be like 140 yards, but like he would want to get like a sand wedge there. Or so he would just like just put it back in his stance and he's like hooded hook. <laughs> All day, dude. Birdie city. It was crazy. That's what I was thinking about doing because I was thinking like a hooded eight iron would totally get there. Like a power draw play off this slope. We're 190 yards here on hole eight of Airwood, so he's gonna hit an easy seven, he says. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to just carve a seven iron in. I'm probably gonna go with a f easy five. Oh gosh, is that knuckly? Um, a little bit. Oh, good bounce. Get wow. Going. Oh. Oh, it's on the green. Holy bounce. Holy. Keep going. All right, that's a pretty good shot, about 30 feet for ah. a birdie. I shoved that and it kind of like waffled. But... Right. Okay, Gabe, what are you gonna what are you gonna hit here? I got five iron here. Are you gonna hit a drawer or a fade? I don't know. All right, just draw. aim. Draw. Okay. Draw. You know, that's exactly what Tiger Woods said on the last hole of the 2008 US Open. Tiger, what are you going to hit here? I don't know, Stevie. I'm just going to hit. Worked out. We pulled it. It's drawing. It's got to go. Ooh. It's... We're going to have a good chip there. Yeah, we're going to have a nice, dicey little lie, but... I trust in your up and down skills. Probably right club is too far left. Yeah. Okay guys, so as you can see I have a pretty good lie. It's sitting pretty far up, right? It'd be different if it was maybe right here or right here. Now I have all this grass behind, but it's, it's sitting up pretty well. So what happens is if I, if I open the face up, right? Now there's less surface for the ball to hit and it makes it easier to go underneath, especially when the ball is sitting up like this. So if I keep the face more neutral or normal, I hit it high in the face, it's going to make the face go this way and hit the ball a little higher. So I actually want to keep it more neutral, swing more level so I don't go too far underneath it. And it'll still come out soft with spin. So just make a more well-rounded swing and allow the ball sitting up to do the work. Oh, that's lovely. Hot damn, that was a good golf shot. Okay, here's Blair. Got about 20 feet. Hit up on this hill but behind him. Came down, which as it should. So he played the hole correctly, missed on the right side. And now he's got a makeable right to left birdie putt. I like that speed. I like that line. Ooh. A little firm, a little firm, about four feet. He's gonna have to clean that up. Sure had a lot of five foot par in this. Make floor. another slider left or right. I think I pushed that and got lucky. Never a doubt, what a par. Okay, you guys. 539 yards par five. Blair, why the three foot? Because I'm not so sure about it because there's a lot of downwind right now, but it's a perfect three wood, three wood hole where I hit my three wood up there at 270, then I end up having a same similar yardage going back up the hill. So that's my strategy behind this. And also it's also it's kind of narrow um, with the driver where I end up hitting it. And if I do hit my driver, I end up having a long iron or like a two iron in instead of something Using his golf intelligence to make the smart play off the tee. It's only intelligent if you hit it straight, first and foremost. Yeah. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, you're always right, Blair. Yeah, I'm fucking right. You've always right. told me since I was in middle school that you're always right and I'm always wrong and you're bigger and you're better and I'm not as good looking and, you know, you have better girlfriends than me and you're a better golfer and you always just tell me how you're better and I always feel so bad about, about myself. Good ball. Necky, but it's gotta work. All right, I'm gonna try to line Gabe up here. I'm worried about his aim all day. That is left, 
left, just right of the bunker. There you go. Looking for a cut. And instead of cutting it, Drew should be in the beach. Okay, Gabe's ball so, stayed on top after rolling through the bunker and some Bermuda lied. The ball was severely below his feet. What are you gonna hit there? I got the three wood 290 to the pin. Just use my coordination, swing soft, but still keep up the speed. Lay it up. Oh, he smoked it. That'll work. Yeah, as long as that looks really good. Oh, stop. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, he pured it and it took a really hard bounce to the right. He went in one of these bunkers, which is going to be about a 60 yard bunker shot. How do you feel about that? Honestly, that looks pretty comfy. Okay, Blair, what do you got? I got 274 yards. It's down uphill, but downwind, and I think I can get it there. Honestly, I think it's a perfect yardage if I can make really good contact and put a good swing on this thing. See if I can finish off with a nice birdie. It, but it's right. It's alright, that's a good leave. That's a good side to leave it on. Yeah, I'd say so. As long as it avoided the bunkers, it might actually even bounce down to the green. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, you guys, I got a 72 yard bunker shot. Um, basically, you just want to find a good place in the middle of your. I don't let that thing slide out of your hands right into the camera. <laughs> yeah, arrow wooded there. That's gonna be tough up and in. Okay, here's Blair. Got about 40 yards. Good amount of green to work with. This shouldn't be too difficult. That looks pretty good there. Go. Landed soft about right, landed so eight soft. feet. Gabe, after that bunker shot, it's got to traverse a big hill, but it can be done. You have a lot of green past this ridge here, and you can put spin on it out here. A little bit too long. Okay, Blair's got about eight feet downhill right to left. So probably right edge, outside. Good speed. God, pull that. Oh, it went in. Okay, nice birdie. <laughs> we'll take it as we can get it. Oh, the putter is not my friend today. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching that video. Blair, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Thanks for Airwood for getting us out here, allow us to play some holes and share some things what's going on and what our new plans are. So appreciate you guys, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below for my question and answer video. Leave a comment down below if you guys are looking to build your own golf YouTube channel, if that'd be something you'd be interested in. Blair, any thoughts? Uh, thoughts are, thoughts are kind of blank right now. Thoughts are I got a lot of work to do. And uh, I'm excited to get, get to it. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Keep growing, keep striving, moving towards improvement.